Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X515JA model. The exact model would be X515JA-BQ504T model. That information can be found at the bottom of the laptop on the sticker. And in this today's video based on the request I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can properly you know, repaste, clean up, and you know, clean up the fan system and the inside of the laptop completely physically, which is called uh, servicing the laptop. Okay, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. So, once you power off the laptop, you want to flip it upside down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws down here. The tools that you're going to be needing, I'm going to cover them up. The tool number one will be a uh, material, is a workshop towel. You need one sheet of the workshop towel. You will need a toothbrush, a new or used toothbrush, which I have mine somewhere over here. Okay. You will need a, a thermal paste, your favorite thermal paste. In this case, I'm going to be using an Arctic MX4. You can use an Arctic MX5 if you want. I'll leave the link in my video description for everything I use in this video. You will need a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I always use the best, which is the iFixit screwdriver set. These are made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really tough in steels. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro version, which will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. But if you don't wanna get the opening, the pro version, just get the simple version. And for the opening tool, you're gonna be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening covers and cases. And obviously, you will need the most important one is an alcohol, isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic alcohol, 90% plus has to be anything under 90, you should not use. All right, with all this on hand, now what we're going to start continuing and opening up. We're going to remove the, all the screws at the bottom cover. There are three types of screws, three different sizes. The short ones are in the front end of the laptop. There are four of them. The mediums are the one in the middle row, there are three of them, and the long ones are the one at the back row, three of them. All right, so go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos and helping you guys out to do your own upgrade, cleaning, servicing, and you wanna support the channel, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And it will be a really great motivation for me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. Once we remove all the screws, now you want to grab the opening tool. And you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. So just somehow manage it right in there. Just like that. Now you want to twist it towards the outside. I don't know if this is not focusing. So I'm just gonna wiggle around in here. So just push it back, you're gonna hear some clicking. That's what you wanna hear, you wanna hear those clicking. Do the front and do the sides, go all the way to the back. Go to the left and right side, both side. All the way to the back corner. You don't need to do the back end, as long as you do the side, the front. Now you wanna pick it up and you wanna pull it up a little bit hard from the corners, from this side, but not the fan is, from this side a little bit hard. There's a little clip in here. You want to unhook that clip, so pull it up a little bit hard. Don't worry about it, just unhook it. You're going to hear a big click. Those hooks that are right here, these hooks right over here. These hooks goes around the jacks in here, so don't worry about it, just pull them up. Even if you break them, these hooks are meant there for assembly line. So on assembly line, they put it on top, they move around so it stays in one place. The whole thing that is in, stays together is by, by the screws, so... Don't worry about those hooks. Eventually, by time, they always break down these small, tiny hooks. So that's normal. Anyway, once you remove the bottom cover, go ahead and clean it up with a toothbrush. The space is right there. You can, with a toothbrush, clean those up. Down here, you're going to see a horrible design on a cooling system, which is the fan is right here. Sucks the air from here and blows it right over the motherboard and going at the back towards the exit which is a tiny he puny heat sink this is pretty much uh, for example imagine you have your pc with the fans on the casing only 
and you don't have any fan straight on the CPU cooling. So this is pretty much the example exactly. The exact example is this one. Having a fan case on your PC, that's it, but not on a CPU directly. There should be one fan right over here, touching the heatsink, spinning it this way. Anyway, to clean up the fan, this is pretty clean. This is a new laptop, so if yours might be really dusty in here, so you can clean up with a toothbrush, and you can remove the fan. To remove the fan, before we do anything, we're going to disconnect the battery. So we don't want to shorten anything. So to disconnect the battery, let's go ahead and remove the hard drive first. Just pull up this jack by your, put your finger at the back of the jack right here and lift it up 90 degrees upward. And then unhook the jack, bring it up. Has a little adhesive to it, so rip it off and bring it upward. Remove the three screws, one, two, two screws and three screws on the battery. Now you can lift up the battery from here. Bring it up, move it to one side. Now to unhook the jack right here, there's a little uh, latch right on top. You want to unhook it. So what you need to do here is to pull this jack backward towards the ramp, just about one millimeter, look, just like that. And once you do that, you want to lift up, don't put anything metal underneath here, but I do it by experience, but if you guys should not do it, do a plastic one underneath and you want to lift it up towards the ceiling. And that's how you remove it. So it comes up, it doesn't slide out. So pretty much you pull it upward towards the ceiling. Don't pull it back forth. And that's how you replace, you remove your battery. Now we're gonna remove the three screws for the fan. So go ahead and remove the three screws for the fan. The fan screws and the battery screws are the same size. Once you remove the screws, uh, you need to un hook the uh, antenna for Wi-Fi, so unhook it, remove the jack for the fan, just pull it up, gently pull it back and lift up the fan. You can go ahead and untangle this Wi-Fi cable right here, so pretty much you're untangling it and there we have it. Now you can take the fan outside with a toothbrush, you can clean it up, blow some air to it, air compress air. I'll leave the, the compressor that I use for blowing air is a dry air, which is good. Those can air, they are horrible for these things. So clean up the fan. We're gonna remove the heat sink. To remove the heat sink, you need to remove the four screws on the heat sink. So go ahead and remove them. Doesn't matter what order you start with, as long as you remove all of them. Once you remove it, just simply pick it up and lift it up. And there's your garbage thermal paste that they put in a uh, company. You want to grab your workshop towel and you want to soak it inside the alcohol a little bit. And now you want to just swipe right on top and clean up the excess of the thermal paste on both first. Once you remove the excess, now you can use the dry part just to feel passive, make sure it's nice and shiny. Has to be perfect and shiny. So it does have like a mirror glass shininess. All right, once we have all this done, now you can take your heat sink outside and clean it up with a toothbrush. If it's dirty, mine is really pretty clean. So I don't need to do any cleaning here. I'm just doing the video for you guys. So we're gonna grab the thermal paste. And we're gonna apply one die, one drop right on the middle die, big die, and one right on the second die. Okay? Don't worry, this uh, thermal paste are not conductive, and Arctic MX4 are really suitable to put it in there. It's not, don't put little, put a fair amount of thermal paste. Don't overdo it. Once you put it in there, then you wanna grab the heat sink, bring it over. Align this side first, underneath nicely. Bring it straight over, make sure the screw holes match. Once you put it on, do not lift it up. And always prepare one bit, one screw on the here, on top of the screwdriver. You wanna, there's a number on it, one, two, three, four. You can start with a number that they put on, or you can just do it as long as you cross screw them, so you don't actually have to go with the numbers. You can go three, four, two, one. 
So let's go three. I put that one in, and then I'm gonna hold it down so it doesn't lift up, and I put the four. As long as you cross screw them, you find the reason for a cross screwing is because so it will spread the thermal paste evenly. So instead of if you try to do this side first and going that way, so it will push the thermal paste to one side. So there you go. once you put all the screws in there, you're pretty much all set. Grab the wire, the fan and just tangle back down the Wi-Fi cable that you removed. I'm trying to get this right. There we go. And place it right in there. Uh, put the three screws for the fan and don't forget to plug in the fan. Grab the fan cable and slide it right through the jack and pinch it right in there. You can use a tweezer or something nice to push it toward there. Grab the Wi Fi antenna and just press it right on the jack evenly on top. Make sure it's nice on top. Uh, you can pull this one back a little bit so it has more room to play on the back corner there. This Wi-Fi is pretty loose here. I'm going to tighten up the screw. It is tight. So so once you finish down here cleaning up and repasting, you want to grab the battery. Before you put the battery, make sure this cable is out of the way. First, let's go ahead and plug it in. Push the jack backward, the lock. Bring it, align it straight on top. One is straight aligned. Now you want to push it towards the motherboard straight down and then push the lock over. Just bring it over from the back and that's it. Now you want to put the battery down here and put the three screws for the battery. And we're going to connect the flex cable for the hardware. Now also remember once we remove the battery, once you power on, it might take up to 5 to 10 seconds for it to boot because we removed the battery. So don't panic. Bring this cable in 45 degree angle and plug it in in 45 degree angle and all the way towards the motherboard. Make sure you have to go in 45 and then set it down and then lock it down. And pretty much we are almost done. And we're going to power on and see how it works. So let's go ahead and put up the bottom cover and push down the corners. Make sure you hit those clicks. And if you see any opening right at the back here, just pinch them together and it will go to its place. Remember the long screws are the one in the back end and the short ones, the mediums are in the middle. So you can see the difference is like one millimeter. So put the long ones first. All right, now we're gonna power it on and we're gonna wait five to 10 seconds. It might take a little longer, but just wait until you get the ASUS logo. There we go. It took about eight seconds, nine seconds, and then it goes on right on the desktop. Again, yours might take up to 15 seconds, so don't panic or anything like that. Just give it a little time. That's just initial. Now that if you power on and power on, it's going to be like really quick. So that's just because we removed the battery. And that's how you clean up and service up your ASUS X515JS models. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. Or I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.